Okay, let's mm -hmm. see. Well, what's the matter, Gracie? Well, I am so sorry. I am. Today... Today is... Oh, goodness, it hurts, doesn't it, Bubba? I am so sorry. Today is March 10th, 2010, and Gracie had surgery this morning to remove a, um, oh, it's like a tear duct that was ruptured on her right eye a big lump on her left elbow, I mean right elbow, front right elbow, and a big lump on her right rear back toe, and she's, she'll be nine years old next month, and she's got fatty tumors all over, because she's getting to be an old dog, and the vet wanted to remove the deal on her eye because she was afraid it was going to put too much pressure on her eyeball and eventually cause damage. And she wanted to remove the one on her elbow because she said that's not where fatty tumors normally form. And she also wanted to remove the one on her toe because that's where not where fatty tumors normally form. So anyway, Gracie just wasn't doing any good at all or just seemed to be so pitiful up until about an hour ago and now she's up and acts like she feels much better but she's complaining and I don't know if it's because she's hungry or thirsty or in pain. I've given her, I wasn't supposed to give her any water at all tonight. They told me that she'd vomit if I did. But I've given her two ounces about three times. And she's doing okay. But she hadn't had water since, oh, yes, well, tw hadn't had any water for 24 hours. And hadn't had any food for 24 hours. So I guess I'll go ahead and give her a little more water. But no food till morning. Okay, I'm gonna give Gracie. An, I'm gonna give her another couple of ounces of water. The vet told me not to give her water till morning, but this is a fourth time I've given her approximately two ounces. You give her a cup. I guess so. Seems kind of cruel, but I think that's better than no water at all, huh, Bubba? And this deal on her leg looks pretty rough. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Seems to be pretty painful, but not as painful as what it would be to me. And the vet's foot wrap came off with almost no movement at all, so I rewrapped it. Barbara had to hold her. Hold, had to hold her up around the chest while I lifted her leg up to wrap it because we couldn't get her to lay down. Well, Bubba, I'm sorry you're not getting much water. You're pretty thirsty, aren't you? Yeah, I know you are. Poor dog. Oh, goodness. There's a little drop of blood. She walked out of the kitchen and laid down in the living room. The leg just looks like it's been butchered. Barbara said, yep. Let's see how her eye looks. Her eye looks real good. Can't see it though here. But it doesn't look bad. Okay, Gracie is wanting to lick that really bad, so Barbara and I just put a a sock on it. How you doing, Gracie? How you doing, sweetie Bubba? Poor girl. Poor Gracie. And then that's our other wrapping. 
What a good girl. For a pillow? Yeah, my shoes for a pillow. Oh. She has to wear the cone of shame tonight. Yep. Terrible. A big uh, cone for a big dog. She'll be bumping into stuff is my main concern with it. I know it. That taped on. Oh, yeah. And the tape just fit that joint so perfectly that she couldn't get up. It, it, oh. it cramped in the joint right there. And so I tried to lower it, but the incision's clear up here. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't lower it. So I took my suspenders apart. She cooperated, cooperated with me as I reached up under her and passed that suspender underneath her <laughs> and around her other leg and then around this Sorry. And then around this side, she cooperated. I got it all hooked up. <laughs> Never thought I could have a dog like this. I didn't even know God made dogs like this. Oh, it's just slipped up under the other arm. Yeah. Okay. I'm telling you, <laughs> she is a... Magnificent animal. Good girl. Good girl, Gracie. I can't wait to see you try to walk. Come I on. think that might work. We gave her an 81 milligram something coated aspirin. And then gave her some more water to let it go down. I think that means she's had about 10 ounces in three and a half hours. Good girl, Gracie. She's afraid to walk with the new contraption, I believe. No, no. Okay, now Gracie's got a bell. And I believe it's going to be, I think if she tries to lick, it'll ding. So we're going to try to avoid the cone of shame. You're a good girl, Gracie. Put a little cortisone on the sock, hoping that that, that would cause it to not stick. We don't know. Might not even be a good idea. Well, she does not feel like getting up, but she looks pretty bright-eyed. You looking good, Bubba? You looking good? You ready to get up? I'll tell you what. I bet if I took that strap off, you'd get up, wouldn't you? Let's try that.